Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we are going to discuss an interesting topic that is how to automate Facebook using Pavli Connect. So guys, Facebook is widely used for many purposes like connecting with people, engaging with your customers, selling your products, generating leads, and so on. So guys, if you're tired of manually performing these Facebook related tasks, then this video is for you. Here I'm going to show you how you can use Pabli Connect in automating your Facebook tasks. So guys, Pabli Connect is an integration and automation tool that allows you to connect different applications with each other to automate your daily workflows. So I'm going to show you how you can connect Facebook inside Pabli Connect. So Pabli Connect has predefined or pre-built triggers and actions specifically designed for Facebook, which you can use to automate your Facebook related works. Now let me show you a demo how you can connect Facebook inside Pavli Connect's workflow. So guys, this is the landing page of Pavli Connect and you can find the link of this page in the description as well. From here you can sign up for free and you will get free automation tasks uh, every month to test and set up your automations. Okay. So guys, sign up right now from the given link and let's understand the workflow of Pavli Connect. So I, I'm, I have created this workflow. So when you create a workflow, you will find the basic building blocks of your automation, which are the trigger and the action. So guys, trigger is that event which starts the workflow and the action is the automated response of the trigger. So here you can read in the trigger, it is saying when this happens. That means when a trigger event occurs, action is saying do this. Action is going to make Pabli Connect perform any automated action. Okay. So when you click here, guys, you it will ask to choose your trigger application. Okay. So if you want to connect with Facebook in trigger, you can just search for Facebook. Okay. So for trigger, we have these options, Facebook comments. With the help of Facebook comments, you can uh, get the comments. That means whenever you are going to get a new comment on any post on Facebook page, this workflow is going to trigger and capture the data of that comment. Okay. Facebook groups. So if you have any activity related to Facebook groups, you can use this trigger. Facebook lead ads. So if you are generating leads from Facebook, and you want to transfer the data of that lead and at any other place like your CRM and you want to automate this process, you can connect Facebook lead ads in the trigger. Then we have Facebook pages. So if you want to trigger your automation workflow for any new post or any other page related activity, you can use this trigger. Similarly, guys, in the action action window also, you can connect with Facebook uh, various platforms. You can see we have Facebook ads here, Facebook ads insights, Facebook comments, conversions, Facebook custom audience, Facebook group, lead ads, offline conversion pages. So guys, with the help of action uh, steps, you can automatically perform actions in Facebook. And in the trigger, you can select on uh, which event you want to trigger the workflow inside uh, Pabli Connect. Okay. So I'm going to show you an example of connecting Facebook pages. So I'm selecting Facebook pages option. And here guys, when you click on this trigger event option, it will show new post. Okay. This means this workflow is going to trigger when a new post has been posted on your Facebook page. So select this option. Okay. Then here we have this connect button. So we are going to connect with our Facebook page by clicking on connect. And here it is asking to select new connection or use your save connection. I'm going to choose new connection option, then click on connect with Facebook pages. So it might bring you to the login window of Facebook if you are not logged in, but I have already logged in in Facebook. So it is just asking me to select the name of my account and you will see that I'm going to be connected in a few moments. All right. So we are now connected and here it is. It is uh, asking to select the name of the page on which you are sharing the posts. So guys, this is the name of my uh, page named as Pavli. Okay. So I'm going to select 
Fably here. Here you can see it is showing the list of all the pages I have. From here I am going to select Fably option. Okay, and here it is asking number of posts. So for every trigger, how many number of posts you want to fetch here, it is asking for that. So you can enter 5, 10, up to maximum 100. Okay, right now I am leaving this field blank because I want to just capture one post. Here I am clicking on save and send test request button. So now when you click on save and send test request button, the data of the most recent post that you have posted on Facebook will be captured in the response. Here you can see guys, uh, this was the last post that has been shared on this page. Hello everyone, we have created a new campaign. Okay, so let me click on save and send test request button and let's see how we are going to receive the response. And here you can see guys, we got this response and in this response, you can see it is showing there is no video in the post. Okay. The visibility is normal. The promotion status is inactive. There is no promotions going on for the post and the privacy is for everyone. The description is public and here you can see in the message uh, label, we have received this text. Hello everyone. We have created a new campaign. So this is the same text that we have posted and it got captured here in this message label and all other th things related to the post and the page is also captured here. Okay. Right. Now guys, uh, this is how you can capture the post from Facebook. And if you want to send this data to any other place, like on a Facebook group, if you want to share the same post to a Facebook group, you can connect with Facebook groups here in the action step. And here you can use the action event as post message. Okay. Then click on connect. From here you can choose new connection or if you have the Facebook group with the same account, you can choose the existing connection. So we have already connected with Facebook in the trigger. So I'm going to use that existing connection using this option. And here it will show you the list of the existing connections. You can choose any one and then click on save and you'll be connected again with Facebook and here it started uh, asking to select the groups name. So I have two groups. You can see uh, three groups actually. So I'm selecting this social circle group, let's say, and here it is asking the message that you want to send to the group. So guys, here you can see we have received the message from Facebook page in this message label. Now I'm going to map this message label here in this action step in the message field just by clicking here. And you can see the previous step is appearing here in the drop down. And when you click here, the data will appear here only, which you have received in the trigger. So from here, just click on this message label and it will be mapped here like this. So guys, when you map the data from the trigger to the action step, what will happen in real time, whenever this workflow is going to trigger, the labels will be updated automatically. And every new post that you are sharing on Facebook page will be sent to the Facebook group automatically because we have mapped the labels here. This is how the mapping works and the workflow works. Okay. And this is how you can connect Facebook, various platforms inside Pabli connect in the trigger and in the actions. Guys, thank you so much for watching our video and please, please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section. And if you have any queries related to this application, please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link. And guys, we are open to ideas. If you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business, please do let us know in the comment section. And if you like our work, please subscribe to our channel.